Uh, we are Team Mugger, and uh, I'm Jerry, that's uh, Ibrahim, that's uh, Anjan, uh, Mohammed, and uh, Bilal. And we welcome you to the story of Walmart. Uh, Walmart, before we start, I want to start with a small story. Uh, there's a story that, uh, you know, uh, Sam Walton, uh, when he was on his way to a, a plane, uh, to a uh, flight, uh, you know, they have his own a private fleet, his employees, uh, they made a bet. Uh, they put a one penny uh, coin on the floor uh, of the uh, runway from the entrance to the plane and they bet whether Sam Walton would pick it or not. So uh, Sam Walton uh, came out of the door, he goes uh, to the coin, he looks at the coin and he thinks, look, nobody's watching. He goes, bends down and he picks up uh, one penny and put it in his pocket. So if you want me to describe Walmart in two words, I would say penny pictures. Okay? So uh, <laughs> let us uh, go and take a look at the agenda. The agenda for today, we will take a look at the company, we will uh, look at uh, you know, the corporate structure, we will look at the social roles, and then we will make an analysis okay. of the challenges, and then we will tell you our conclusions. On to the next uh, slide. Uh, Walmart uh, is a publicly traded retail corporation. It's the 18th largest company in the world. Uh, it has uh, more than 2.1 million employees. Uh, it was uh, founded by Sam Walton in 1962. The first Walmart was in uh, Rogers, Arkansas, and uh, their headquarters is in uh, Bentonville, Arkansas. And uh, they have, uh, you know, um, about almost 9,000 locations in uh, 50 countries, and uh, they operate uh, in uh, more than 55 names. Uh, in the U.S., they are called, uh, you know, uh, Sam's Club, uh, you know, Superstore, and uh, Walmart stores. And, uh, for example, in Mexico, they are called Walmix. And 30% uh, of the U.S. sales uh, belongs to Walmart. You know, uh, one out of five transactions in the U.S. Uh, is out of Walmart. So every time a store uh, you know, cash register goes catching, one out of five is Walmart. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the revenue of Walmart is equal to the revenue of the next six uh, retail corporations. So they're that huge. And they plan to double in the next five years. Uh, recently, uh, you know, in India, for example, India opened up. So the emerging market is opening up. And, uh, you know, they are, they are going to expand their reach very soon. Uh, on to the next slide. We will take a look now at the mission values and, uh, you know, uh, their culture. So mission is to help people save money so they can live better. So it's all about people, it's all about saving money. Let's take a look at their uh, mission statement. It's again the same theme. Uh, if we work together, we will lower the cost of living for everyone, and then we will give an opportunity for everyone to live a better life. Let's move on to the values. So the values uh, are the core of Walmart. You know, The whole Walmart story of success is based on three values. Respect for the individual, respect for the customer, and you know, striving for excellence. Uh, these three simple uh, concepts May help make Walmart a uh, giant corporation. On to the next slide. Let's take a look at the board of directors. Uh, Mike Duke is the CEO. Uh, he's an industrial engineer. Uh, he, uh, his salary is about $16 million a year. Um, we have uh, next, uh, uh, he's the fourth CEO of Walmart. Uh, next is uh, the Walton uh, family, uh, Rob Walton and Jim Walton. Rob Walton is the chairman of the board of directors. And Jim and the both sons of uh, Sam Walton. Sam Walton, as you know, died in 1992. On to the next uh, you know, uh, board members. We have uh, one Hispanic uh, lady, and we have three ladies uh, in the uh, board. The board uh, has totally of total of 15 people, and out of uh, 15, uh, you know, five are uh, internal, 10 are external, and uh, there's uh, three females. There's uh, two <coughs> African American males and uh, one Hispanic. So it's it's a pretty diverse board. Um, Okay, as I said, uh, okay, so uh, these are uh, the, the major composition of the others. Uh, this guy, uh, where is this guy? There's a guy called Lee Walton. So he, he was the previous, uh, uh, Lee Scott actually, he was the previous uh, CEO, he was the third uh, CEO of, Sam, of uh, Walmart. On to the next uh, slide. Uh, board committee, you know, they have, because Walmart is such a huge corporation, you know, it's very difficult to manage such a huge corporation. So have, they have made committees for each uh, function. They have a committee for audit, for technology, for, you know, executive committee, global compensation, planning, strategy, compensation, and so on. Uh, again, as we said, uh, you know, 10 are external, 5 are internal. So uh, about the board of uh, directors. They uh, were selected, like if you look at the resume of each board of directors, it's mind-boggling, you know, like there's a professor from Harvard Business School, there's uh, ex-CEO of Coca-Cola, there's uh, ex-Cisco, there's, uh, you know, bankers, there's, you know, uh, HR experts, there's uh, strategists, uh, everything is amazing, except you don't see an ethics person, uh, no sustainability person, and uh, you don't see younger people there, you know, all the boards have kind of older people. Okay, that's look at the next slide. Still the management structure, as I said again, Walmart is a huge corporation operating in 15 countries. Uh, you know, they, so what they have done is, 
there is a pretty flat structure. At the top is the chairman of uh, you know the board of directors and the CEO. And under the CEO, uh, there is you know uh, all of America. Uh, like each part of America has a separate president, vice president, executive vice president. And uh, for example, Eastern U.S., Western U.S., Central U.S., uh, they all have separately. And uh, there's one for uh, South America. There's one for Asia. One for emerging markets, you know, Europe and Middle East, and so on. And uh, again, you know this, their hierarchy. Uh, like you know, uh, executive vice president, or vice chairman, uh, you know, president, and so on. on the next, uh, okay. Uh, the recommendations are that you know uh, there could be uh, some more females. Uh, we could they could try to reach 50 percent. Uh, they could uh, involve uh, uh, ethics expert maybe. Uh, maybe they could have a sustainability expert. There's nobody on the environment. Uh, they could uh, have uh, you know. I mean, Walmart is totally against unions, uh, but maybe you know they could have somebody representing the the, union, the, the workers more. And also, you know, uh, I feel that uh, because Walmart uh, is mostly uh, elder, they, maybe they could include some younger people too. On to uh, Andrew. Thanks, Jerry. Uh, so uh, in three years, five major retail stores are shut down. So I want to actually show you a small video. expansion of Walmart throughout the 1999. <laughs> <laughs> so by destroying so many, uh, by just one Walmart destroying about three retail stores, imagine the number of stores they have, how many communities are destroying. Evaluation. So, in evaluation basically, uh, we evaluate Walmart. We put uh, a, a number out of five for each one of their roles. For implicit roles, uh, we give them four out of five since uh, they are using some practices, like uh, some good practices relative to uh, uh, employees. So, this includes like uh, Sorry, they're using an F, no, although they're using a little bit of uh, un, uh, using some unethical practices, so they're still using good practices. Uh, for explicit private roles, we give them 5 out of 5 because they are uh, fully expanding firm, they're giving a lot of returns to shareholders, they're loving their customers. Uh, for implicit social uh, aspects, we give them a 3 out of 5 because they need to more, show more uh, efforts on their sustainability and uh, for explicit social uh, assets, we give them 3 out of 5. However, on the corporate governance structure, although, as Jerry had mentioned, although they have a lot of, uh, uh, they have a pretty diverse background, they need a lot uh, to, to have environmentalists. Uh, and for the management structure, we give them 4 out of 5 because they have a broad reporting structure. And that's it for our presentation. Um, I just want your opinion on this, that the size of, of Walmart and the rate of it is expanding, do you think that they should be more heavily regulated by government? Uh, and would you consider them too big to fail, the impact if Walmart collapsed for some reason? From which paradigm perspective? <laughs> you know, right now, the way it is, 